Hi, welcome back. This is Leila from Merlot. Uh, today we're going to be washing the fleece that we've already put in the bags with our zip ties to keep them separated. Now, when I had spoke about the Rambouillet fleece before, we talked about how greasy it is. And so with it, you can actually see the grease in it. It's, it's actually crunchy. There's so much grease in here. So in order to get this out, we're going to do what they call scouring. The water that I have out of the tap is about 125, which I don't think is gonna be hot enough to remove that. Um, the ways that I used to do this is I would use Dawn and um, put the fleece in the bags into very hot water with a lot of Dawn in there that you, you haven't sudsed it up. You put the water in, then you put the Dawn in until it's almost slippery with the soap. Put this in for about half an hour. You might have to do that two or three times. And then you would do two to three rinses, making sure that you're keeping your temperature fairly constant. Because remember, felting is change of temperature, agitation, and soap. So if we don't do all of those together, then we should not felt this. Um, I have also used a scouring product, but again, you've got probably in the time it's gonna take me, I do four bags at a time to do the eight bags. We're looking at pretty close to three hours for me to complete that. There is a new product on the line. Um, it's to use less water and to take less time. Um, I'm still going to need to do a pre-soak. Um, this product you massage it in, wait about 10, 15 minutes, rinse it off and you should be done. But I'm going to do a bit of a pre-soak first so that we can get some of that lanolin lifted and in order to do that we need some high temperatures. So I'll be adding water from the tap and topping it up with some boiled water getting the temperature probably around about 135 or so, so that I know that I can get it lifted off. We'll let it sit in there for about 15 minutes, but we'll keep it insulated. That way the temperature doesn't drop because if you let it sit in there till it cools off, the lanolin will go back onto the fleece and then it becomes a nightmare to remove that. So we're gonna get our water set up and we'll be back in a bit. I've already got the water in the tubs that I use. I use tubs because I dump out this water outside. I don't let it go down the drain just because of the grease content. I'm going to lay these bags in here. And I typically put four of these in here. Now, felting. Change of temperature, agitation, and soap. That's how you felt. I am not super gentle. I've seen people that, that they carefully poke stuff. Do you know what? I give it a good plunge into the water because I want to ensure that that hot water is getting through the fiber because that's how I'm gonna get rid of the grease. So once I've done a few of those, then what I'm going to do is I cover everything up with a cardboard, insulate it by placing a towel on top. That's gonna sit there for 15 minutes. We'll be back. Okay, and this has been soaking for about 15 minutes. So at this stage, what I do is I roll it up, almost so it's like a sausage, and then we'll squeeze it out and we will squish in the product. So I'm gonna squish this out and then I'm going to add, I'd prefer to do this with my hands, but it's so hot. So I'm just rubbing some of that on there. And I'm just gonna squish that product in. I'm not rubbing because I don't want the mesh bag to be rubbing against the fiber and possibly felting it to the mesh bag. So we're just going to squish it in. And then I've got 
another tub of hot water here that I made up the same time as this one so that as they cooled, they'd be the same temperature. And I'm just gonna pop it into that. We will um, finish doing the rest of these and then wait the 10 to 15 minutes for the product. So, we'll so we kind of see in this tub here, very little water. Like it covers the bottom of it, that's about it. But I'm gonna leave that sit for 10 minutes and then we'll do a rinse. We've got the bags of fleece out of the soak water. And, you know, we can see how much dirt is there. The milkiness that you see is going to be some of the lanolin and hopefully the product that we squished in to the fiber will take some of the remaining, if not all of it out. Otherwise we'll do it. Take off this insulation here. And these have been soaking for about 10 minutes in the solution. So we're gonna pull those out of there and then put them in some rinse water. We can actually see that, um, <clears throat> look at that, even more lanolin came out. Isn't that amazing? So now we've just got it sitting in the rinse water. And um, once it's been sitting in there a little bit, and I'll poke it around, um, we'll pull it out and just test it to see, do I need to do another wash or is it fine the way it is? Okay, so we've got it out of the rinse water, so we're just going to check it and see if it is, in fact, clean. And I can tell by feeling it that I think we've got most of the lanolin out, or enough at least, that um, when it goes into the dye pot, the dye will take. So now the fleece is cleaned, and we just need to take it out to dry. So come with me, we'll go outside. So we're out here. And I've got just a very simple drying rack. And we're going to lay these out onto the rack. There's a bit of a breeze today, so I will probably add a clothespin just to keep the bag there. So these will stay out until I feel that they're dry. Then I take them into the house and I lay them out for another couple of days because I want to ensure that they're completely dry. Um, if the wool feels cool, then it's still damp. So don't put it away until it's completely dry. This is the Isla for Merlot. Thank you for watching.